Hey everybody, Angela here. I'm going to do a little review today on Georgian Cream. Uh, it was gifted to me by Terry, uh, T. Norwo, 1970, I believe. Um, and I thought I would just give you my take on this. Uh, it's very good. It's a very light smoke, um, and it's not heavily cased. Um, now, I, I correct me if I'm wrong, Terry, but um, there, uh, this is available. Georgian Cream is available. It's a McClellan's, um, and it's in bulk. You can buy it in bulk. So I, I'm not sure if this is the same, if this is from your local tobacconist, and if they perhaps bought it in bulk. But um, anyway, with that said, uh, it appears to be, it's a mix, kind of a mixed cut, a little chopped, uh, and uh, a little bit of uh, ribbon, that kind of thing. Let's see if I can show you. So it's a little bit of everything in there, but there's uh, appears to be some uh, Virginias, uh, looks like, um, and uh, definitely Black Cavendish, maybe a little Berlin. Bur excuse me, Burley. To smell it in the bag, it smells like a peach cobbler to me, more so than a peach pie. A peach pie tends to be very peachy smelling. Um, and this is just kind of subtle. It smells very good, but it smells more like a like the peaches and cream uh, type of situation. Maybe a, a peach cobbler with a little bit of ice cream on it. It smells very nice, very nice indeed. It's n the smell is not chemically, there's no chemical smell to it. Um, it just smells like a very nice light peach smell. Um, the room note, first of all, smells like what I was saying, like a peach cobbler. It smells very nice. smells so good that it makes me want a peach cobbler. <laughs> it is a very mild smoke. You do get that uh, sweetness. Um, it's not heavily cased at all, so it's not like a really strong aromatic. Um, there is some sweetness to it. You can definitely uh, feel a little bit of the creaminess and uh, also the peach. Um, it's very subtle, uh, but it's it, it's just really good. I, I don't know how to describe it. Um, said it's not heavily cased. Uh, it's not really sweet. It's not sticky to the touch out of the out of the pouch. Um, and I did not, as I said, have to dry anything out. So um, my opinion is this is a really nice smoke and. Uh, I think it would be good just about any time of the day, really. And as you can see, uh, it, it is smoking really nicely. Uh, overall, um, this is going to be one of my top um, choices, I think. Thank you, Terry, very much for turning me on to this. I really, really enjoy it. And Eric is really enjoying it also. And he's not much of an aromatic guy. So um, I've been surprised that a lot of the, the blends that I've been trying lately, they're, they're so mild uh, of an aromatic. Uh, and I do like a little heavier cased one from time to time, the rich vanilla or chocolate and what have you. Um, but but a lot of the ones that I find, especially in the bulk, are tend to be milder to me. They don't have the tongue bite that sometimes I'll smoke something from a tin and then make it in a bulk purchase. And uh, I can tell the difference. To me, uh, the tins seem to be a little stronger, maybe a little harsher is more so than 
strong. That wasn't the correct word, but maybe a little harsher. And sometimes I do get to a, a tongue bite from a tin tobacco rather than uh, a bulk out of the pouch. So, but anyway. But I really do enjoy this. Um, and uh, I'm smoking actually out of a pipe that uh, I just got yesterday at my little antique store that I went to and they gave me the free pipe. Um, and I got this one and I just love it. Nice little squat tomato. And I love this stem. And I'm not sure exactly what the stem is acrylic or something I'm not sure but it is just really nice I hope that's showing it to some degree uh, but it is a magic inch pipe uh, by E.A. Carey and um, I'm not sure the age on it I looked them up and uh, they've been around since the 1950s and they're still making them today uh, they're not real expensive pipes and I didn't pay very much for this one it's probably worth about what I paid for it uh, but it smokes really well it was almost I mean it may have been used a dozen times if that there was no cake in it whatsoever um, I mean you could take your finger and, and run it around and there was really no darkness no um, and everything was cleaned up which the guy usually does clean them up to some degree but um, not as much as he uh, could um, but his prices are, are pretty good so uh, but there's uh, virtually no teeth mark on the stem no if I'm going to be able to show that exactly uh, but it's in excellent shape. It's just barely been smoked. And it is a, um, has a little system to it. I'm not sure if you're familiar with them. Uh, but it has a couple little uh, vent holes in the top. And then when you pull the stem out, on the stem, there's several slots around the stem. And uh, you put a filter over it which is a very very thin papyrus um, paper and uh, they sell those in bulk on the carry website uh, but it's it's a great little pipe I'm just really liking it I think I think the band just adds to it it's just great but anyway um, that's my review for uh, the tobacco anyway. It's really, really good and I do suggest that you give it a shot. Uh, even if you're not so much of an aromatic person, as I said, this is very light aromatic to me. Um, a very mild smoke. Overall burns well. No tongue bite. Um, the flavor is really good. The, the room note is really good. Uh, it definitely you can tell that there's peaches to it and a little bit of the creaminess and it's just really an overall good smoke so i do recommend it thanks for watching and we'll catch you soon cheers